Pilot Flying J has continued their push towards the end of the year of opening sites in rapid succession. Let's go ahead and get into the update. In addition to Pilot Flying J's partnership with General Motors, General Motors is doing additional things, including the IANA initiative, as well as working with EVGO independently of the Pilot Flying J to build fast chargers in metropolitan areas. They've completed 2,000 of those, and they're saying 400 of the additional 850 will be at flagship charging destinations in major metropolitan areas across the U.S. So in addition to the Pilot Flying J building on the interstate corridors, General Motors is also building into major metropolitan areas with EVGO independently. Additionally, EVGO just recently closed a loan with the Department of Energy that will sustain them with a very large expansion just independent of General Motors and Pilot Flying J. It's said that they're going to be tripling the number of stations that they have over the next several years as a result of this loan. So a lot of good things is, is coming out of this partnership. General Motors is working with IANA, EVGO independently, and Pilot Flying J. EVGO is um, making strides on their own, and Pilot Flying J is doing a lot of opening of stations. So the partnership has really flourished. Just very quickly reviewing the amenities. I call these out relatively frequently, but I think it needs to be restated. Um, not only do they have charging stations, but they have travel centers that they're attached to. And these travel centers, if you want to take a shower, you can among just a wide number of other amenities. The nice thing about these travel centers is they never close. You can go in at two o'clock in the morning on Christmas day and it's still open. So to have that attached to a EV charging station immediately off the interstates is definitely a benefit. Um, they also have very clean restrooms. Um, because these are travel centers, the restrooms are very well kept and uh, free Wi-Fi throughout. And they always have some kind of food. Something new happened when they opened the Walton, Kentucky. I noticed that the form factor of the canopy didn't fit any of the existing patterns that we have been seeing. It's kind of close to the type C, but it only has two pillars. So this is a new form factor. It is pull through. So it's kind of like a combination between the A and the C. So it's like a pull through with two pillars. So something else to look forward to as uh, more stations start to open. This is the graph of what it looks like uh, for the number of stations that are open over time. And as you can see, since November, we've been on a very rapid uptick of the number of stations that have been opening. Nothing like this has happened since this project has began. And it really shows the fervor that they're taking to opening these stations. In fact, they're actually running out of stations that are spotted under construction. They're kind of burning through their firewood pretty quickly here. And so conceivably, there's more sleeper sites out there that are um, starting construction in order to keep the uh, momentum going unless they intend to pause after the start of the year like they did last year. Um, not quite sure, but right now they're definitely on a very high uptick. New this update. Let's go ahead and quickly go over this. It's Lincoln, Alabama, right down here. Open is the second one in the state of Alabama. Rochelle, Illinois, starting to approach the Chicago metropolitan area. The two outside of Oklahoma City, one in Oklahoma City proper, and then Edmond, Oklahoma, is uh, opened simultaneously on the same day. Uh, New Brunfields, Texas, which is down here north of San Antonio. We have Odessa, Texas, which was a sleeper site. We did not know it was under construction, and then it just suddenly opened. This is on Interstate 10. Um, Schulenburg, Texas, which is in between Houston and San Antonio. Uh, Walton, Kentucky, which is just south of Cincinnati. Brookville, Pennsylvania, which is in the northwest portion of the state. And last but not least, West Haven, Utah, which is in a pretty underserved area of the country. So we're starting to fill in some dark places of the map. This is what it looks like in table form. I'll pause here for a second. The pricing is very much stabilized. We're at 56.7 cents per kilowatt hour as an average for the network. The highest prices continue to be 69 cents and the lowest prices continue to be 45 cents. 
various counts, I've expanded the numbers just to kind of show some of these patterns that are going on. We're at 114 open, 38 spotted under construction. As you can see, the number of spotted under construction has dramatically dwindled as they've been on the very fast pace of opening new stations. And looking at the state counts, you could see I've expanded all the way down to states with only four. But I felt this to be significant just because there's a lot of the dark corners of the map, as I said, starting to get filled in. And Wisconsin had four open in very short succession. Um, New Mexico has uh, four, but uh, definitely needs some more in uh, being built. And this is uh, stations that are both spotted under construction and opened. In the case of Wisconsin, they're all open. In the case of New Mexico, they're all spotted under construction. None of them are open yet. Um, but even still, it shows that the uh, builds are occurring into these states. Texas still leads with 22 with the addition of Odessa, the sleeper site. Interstate 40, as I'm going to get to here in a second, is going to be my main focus in the next couple weeks. We're going to be taking a trip. I'll go over that in just a second. Um, Interstate 75 has 13. That's a north-south corridor and other interstates. Um, I-95 really does need some more because it's a pretty heavy corridor and I-5 as well. Similarly, is just about as busy as I-95 and it needs some more. But right now, it seems like they're focusing on east-west a, a little bit more. The central time zone has 46 open, 12 spotted under construction. Eastern time zone has 58 open, 14 spotted under construction. The mountain time zone has six open, eight spotted under construction. And the Pacific time zone has four and four. Now, as I mentioned, my wife and I are going on a 25th anniversary trip to the Bright Angel Lodge in Grand Canyon Village, um, celebrating 25 years of marriage. We're going to be taking the Cadillac Lyric, and our intention is to only stop at Pi Pilot Flying J charging stations. Uh, one, to highlight the fact that we could actually do a trip like this using only Pilot Flying J. Secondly, with the Lyric, we've got free charging at those stations, so why not, right? They're right off the interstate. They've got these great amenities, as I mentioned, and we charge there for free. Now, obviously, because it's a anniversary trip, there's going to be the privacy maintained, but I will be highlighting the electric vehicle charging stops in a video. One problem that we currently have is the state of New Mexico, as I said, doesn't have any stations open. The last station I can charge at is Amarillo, Texas, and there's no way I could reach the next one on I-40, which is Winslow, Arizona. So if they don't open anything in New Mexico in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have to do an audible into the EVGO station in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and uh, perhaps some other station. I'm not quite sure. But we're still watching that. But otherwise, we're going to be able to travel this entire route using just Pilot Flying J. The one in West Memphis, Arkansas, was an important point to uh, fill in a part of that um, route. And also, two just opened in Oklahoma City. So actually, Oklahoma is very well filled. Uh, we could, we're going to be driving by Pilot Flying uh, J stations, not needing to charge because there's so many of them on Interstate 40 in Oklahoma. That's the update for this time. I'm going to go ahead and roll the slide deck that shows all the canopy locations open, spotted under construction, as well as the full data tables. This will be the last update for the year. I hope everyone has a pleasant holiday. Thanks for watching.